The music industry is facing its biggest challenge since Philips launched the audio cassette 20 years ago. Once again, the challenger is a type of cassette, this time invented by the Japanese, exploiting digital technology and said to give perfect reproduction. Iowa and Panasonic launched their two digital audio tape systems, already known in the industry as DAT, in Tokyo next week. And although they won't be available in Britain for some time, they've already sent ripples through the music business. The business fears the quality of DAT is so good that consumers will simply tape compact discs onto them, thereby damaging the market for compact discs at a time when compact discs are still establishing themselves. Tomorrow, for example, the first four Beatles albums, from Please Please Me through to A Hard Day's Night, will be released on CD, with the rest to follow by Christmas. But are the record companies crying wolf? Our science correspondent Lawrence McGinty reports. Top record producer Hugh Padgham has been using digital sound to capture the music of groups like Dream Academy as well as Paul McCartney and Phil Collins for some time now. Like other producers, he started using the technology about five years ago. The quality is what we call professional quality. I mean, it's superb. The cynics say they can hear that it's not as good as a good analog recording, but it, it, it's very, very good. Until recently, when the master tapes produced in recording studios were transferred onto vinyl discs or compact cassettes, some of the quality was lost. Then, four years ago, compact discs arrived. Unlike vinyl or compact cassettes, they too carried digital recordings. The music is coded into microscopic bumps in the surface of the disc 44,000 times per second. At home, the code is scanned by a laser beam and turned back into music. Music of the same quality that Padgham can achieve in his studio. In this plant, EMI presses thousands of compact discs every day, from Queen to Verdi. The process is so sensitive to dirt that everyone has to wear protective clothing. Until now, this has been the highest of high technologies for bringing music into everyone's living room. But now, there's a threat. It comes from video technology. Japanese companies like Aiwa and Panasonic have taken the digital tape technology of video recorders, miniaturized it, and are now launching it as digital audio tape, DAT. It's tiny, runs for two hours, and although the recorder will cost 800 pounds, the quality is exceptional. Now, the quality of recording that we spend a long time trying to get in the studio is now available. Um, in anybody's home, which is great because for years we've spent, you know, months in the studio making a record, and then by the time it ends up on a record in the shop, you've, you, you know, you usually lost quality, and now the quality is going to stay all the way there, which is great. The quality may be great, but in the music business, DAT is causing a huge rumpus. The largely European manufacturers of compact discs say that people who buy DAT will use their recorders to copy from compact discs, infringing their copyright and cutting their sales. Well, it will escalate the problem of private copying, which is already tremendously important. You know that uh, private copying represents something like, overall in Europe, 300% of the legitimate market. And in the United Kingdom, it's considered to be 700%. Uh, that's quite, uh, Copies made at home um, are 700% more than copies sold legitimately in the stores like HMV. Some people in the music industry are making really dire uh, prophecies of, of the impact of DAT on, on the death of recording even. I mean, yeah. it, it, how do you treat that? Well, they've been doing that um, ever since I can remember. They, 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 they did it uh, about ordinary cassette tape and because they treated cassette as the enemy. Then they started to treat it as the friend and started to release recordings on cassette tape. And we now have more pre-recorded cassette tapes sold in Britain than LP discs. I mean, the record industry has the answer in its own hands. All it has to do is reduce the price of compact discs, which at around £12 a time are ludicrously overpriced. 
The record industry is trying to persuade the European Commission and the American Congress to act against DAT by forcing manufacturers to build in spoilers that will prevent them recording from compact discs. There needs to be an anti-piracy device, a spoiler, within the machine. But um, I don't think we should prevent the consumer entirely from copying if he wants to. But if the consumer wants to copy, he should pay for it. How can you arrange, though, the collection of that payment? I think uh, it's feasible to have a two-tier structure whereby you can have a copyable CD, let's say, and a non-copyable CD, and you pay equally. To ask the Japanese to build circuitry into their tape recorders, which make them recorders which won't record, is asking rather a lot. Not surprising, the Japanese aren't cooperating. Last night I said these words to my the Beatles are the latest recruits to the ranks of compact disc. Tomorrow, EMI are releasing four of their earlier LPs in the new format. LPs that have been copied many times at home, but are still selling. In the years to come, these compact discs could still be on the market, despite DAT. The two technologies could coexist quite happily. Lawrence McGinty.